Welcome back. It's Captain Ron here, and this is the uh, third video in the uh, six video series of pilot certification flight. Now this is a this is a check ride, uh, an important one, uh, and this is an additional maneuver. There's going to be six maneuvers total, one in each video, and today we'll show you how to do a soft field takeoff and a soft field landing. Now soft field takeoff and landings are used on surfaces that are either bumpy or they're they're a little muddy and soft and you want to touch down is with the slowest possible ground roll. You still need your airspeed and it's going to it takes a lot more power and a little uh, steeper uh, attitude. So let's get started and now the examiner can uh, prefer either a, 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 a pre-rotation takeoff for a soft field or they can do it after you've landed. Uh, so we're going to do it after we landed. So let's assume we just landed, the blades are spinning fine, and now the nose is on the ground. And it's very important on during these, this test, this, uh, you need to stay on the center line of the runway even after you take off. You can't veer to the right or left. Now in a crosswind, it's different. You go, you're going you're gonna to either go to the left or the right until you control the crosswind input as you leave the ground. But right now there's no crosswind, there's a headwind, and uh, we just landed. The nose wheel's on the ground, so we move the cyclic back for takeoff, and we add, it's going to go back on its tail, and we're heading down the runway, you're maintaining your airspeed. Now the airspeed's going to be slower, but in order to take off with slower airspeed, you need a lot more power. So as the aircraft becomes light and lifts off, it's going to be at a nose high attitude. And this is you're on the backside of the power curve. And so you don't want to climb too high at this rate. You don't want to get way up here in case you have an engine failure. So you stay low to the surface of the runway, lower the nose a little bit with the cyclic, get your airspeed up, and then climb out. Okay, now let's say we're, we're gonna do a soft field landing. We come around the pattern, we're coming in at a proper approach airspeed, and then when you get close to the ground, you do a little bit of a flare. That initial flare converts this descent into a level flight parallel the runway. Now once you do that, the aircraft's going to start slowing down because you've induced some drag with the cyclic as you moved it back. Now at this point you add a lot of power, stick back, you want that nose high attitude, slow the ground speed down, touch down slowly, and then let the nose touch. Okay? So Thanks for watching and let's go fly that maneuver. Good morning, this is uh, Captain Ron. Uh, we're out here this morning and this is the second video in a series of six videos that we're doing in uh, regarding uh, your check ride. This is the ride that you do with an examiner, pilot examiner, and uh, these are some of the maneuvers that are required and then you have to obviously complete them successfully. So this morning we're going to we're going to do a an initial takeoff and then we're going to do a soft field lift off and a climb and then we're going to get into the traffic pattern and and make an approach a standard approach for a soft field landing. Now soft field takeoff and landing uh, you're utilizing the backside the power curve which is a good thing as long as you're right over the runway close by. Uh, it's not something that a situation that you'd want to get into uh, flying low and slow over or anything else but a runway a place to land. As you know, uh, backside the power curve has gotten a lot of people in trouble. So, practicing this uh, soft field takeoff and landing 
actually trains you to recognize that uh, situation and how to fly out of it. So it looks clear. We're going to use uh, runway 19. Or we got a little wind in our face. And by the way, these are not training videos. These are these. This series of videos is to to give you an, an idea what to expect in a check ride for your certificate, whether it be uh, sport pilot, private, commercial, uh, whatever certificate you want to get or you're working at. All right, uh, traffic is clear. There's your traffic, Sky Yellow Jar Plane, 724 Juliet Foxtrot. We're lining up waiting, uh, runway 19, Cersei. Always look for traffic. Keep your head swiveling around. A lot of some aircraft that don't have a radio, so you need to use your your eyesight. Check it out. All right, we're going to taxi out on the center line of the runway, and I'm going to talk through these uh, maneuvers and give you an idea what what the uh, examiner expects from you. All right, we're going to start out with a mechanical pre-rotation. That's the first phase of the pre-rotation. Now we're going to spin it up to 225 RPM. Always checking traffic. Sometimes people land at the opposite end of the runway. All right, we're 225. Pick all the way back, and you must stay on the center line. You use the rudders for that control. A little bit of throttle. We're, we're still now. We're in the second phase of the of the rotor blade spin up. There we go. The nose is high. Okay, on a soft field takeoff, the difference is. The nose is a little higher. Let's get back on the ground here so I can demonstrate it. The nose is a little higher. So obviously your airspeed's gonna be slower. So I'm gonna drag this out so you can get a, a sight picture on it. See how high the nose is? You don't look at the airspeed, you feel it. There we go. Takes a little more power, a lot more power. All right, you don't wanna get too high at this point, staying straight on the center line. Lower the nose a bit. Reduce that cyclic drag. Increase your airspeed, and we'll climb. Now we got some wind in our face, so that's going to shorten our takeoff roll. And you want to make sure you don't stay on that backside, the power curve, with a lot of altitude. You know. Pick up your airspeed close to the surface of the runway. We're looking good, we're climbing good. No traffic in the immediate area. And every examiner has their own little ways of doing things. They're still within the practical test standards, uh, which is the guidance that everyone should use. The flight instructor should use that guidance while you're being trained and the examiner uses the same guidance to execute and to, to test the applicant on. So like, like I, we did earlier, we illustrated this Driving maneuver. Northeast of field at 3,500, descending at 1,300. Going across over midfield, getting a left traffic pattern for 19. There's your traffic, uh, yellow jet plane, close in left downwind for runway 19, Cersei. So that's why it's a good idea to get with your whatever examiner you choose and, and do a little uh, mock check ride, get used to the aircraft. There's six videos uh, in this series, 
of uh, flight check for your certificate. So you want to make sure you watch them all. There are several more maneuvers that are included, but we're just doing the, uh, the most critical, the most important. Uh, they all have to be successfully accomplished and demonstrated, but... Okay, we're on our left downwind here. Now we're going to make a standard approach. For this landing. And a soft field landing is you're going to have to add some power, but the uh, the critical part of it, Searcy traffic, the LG airplane close and left base short, final runway 19, Searcy. The critical part of it is when to add that additional power. Okay, we're keeping our approach speed all the way down on base to final which is on this aircraft 60 miles per hour, 60. And we're checking traffic. If you add the power too soon, all you're gonna do is scoot along the runway and you're not gonna set, set down for a landing. You have to make sure that you slow the aircraft down. Traffic, Skyhawk 491, Sierra Papa, three miles northeast of the field, gonna cross over midfield, getting left traffic, runway 19, seriously. You have to make sure you slow down with the rotor drag. That means you initiate a little bit of a flare. Uh, what I'm going to do first, just to, to demonstrate it to you, I'm going to add the throttle too soon. And just to give you an idea of what to expect when you do that. Uh, you can still make a, a good, safe soft field landing, but you'll scoop down the runway a little bit further. All right, I'm going to add power now, which is too soon. See, I didn't let the aircraft slow down. So now I'm going to bring the power back, and the, here again, the nose is a little higher. You want to induce that rotor drag, a little stick back, add power, add the power, a lot of power, and set it down as softly as you can. Because remember, we're we're illustrating and demonstrating a soft feel into a, maybe a, a grass strip that's, that the surface is really soft and you don't want a lot of rolling ground speed on that. Thirsty traffic, Skyhawk 491 here at Papa, crossing over midfield, just going to get in the left downwind for runway 19, Okay, well, I appreciate you watching. Uh, be sure you watch all the videos. Thank you.